simply stated idea that you need to coordinate clocks to know what simultaneity is occurs in philosophy, physics, and technology as a kind of glue holding them together. They are the yin and yang of one reality that complement the aspects of one whole. And they call it a bifurcation. And it usually occurs at the level of subatomic particles, where the basic rules of reason do not hold at all. And it's only in that region of intensity that the full repertoire of virtual uh, attractors becomes revealed. If we didn't have lenses and other lens-like structures in all of our senses, the world would look to us uh, as if it were a hologram. It's, it's hard to imagine how you can squeeze all this matter in such a tiny volume that disappears. The movement, the structure, the unity, what kept everything going was the spirit. And once you've got that sense of refinement, you can then have an attitude of expectation, an attitude of poise, a beginner's mind, an attitude of, of receptiveness. The idea here is to pull memory and its relationship to these kinds of physical phenomena into an art object that's invisible. We are turning ourselves inside out almost, like a, the electrical networks are an extension of our nervous system. Mm -hmm. The way memory works is now getting outsourced to all these devices around us. So we let them remember for us. The body it is an extra intelligent being which somehow compensates itself upon a certain challenge. These antennas of the artist, where this electricity comes from, I'm very curious about that.